Hi students, I want to show you what to do with a few of these assignments. On this particular assignment that you see here, it's called Engineering Fields at the top, you just have a crossword puzzle. And you're going to discover some different engineering careers uh, and what they do. The clues are down here and you just fill it in. If you look at the top, it tells you where to go on the internet. If this is too much to type or you can't get to where you're supposed to be going, you could just type in www.discovere.org. If you just type that part in, you'll come to this website here. Once you get here, you can go to Discover Engineering. Go down to the third one, Engineering Careers. And this is where you'll get your information from. A lot of the answers are things like aerospace or chemical or civil, but you can click on these. You don't know what it is, click on it, and it'll come up with some information here, and usually the clues are within the paragraph here. Just a little interesting tidbit is that it also shows you the salary down here. You might want to take a look at that as well as you look at these different careers. At the bottom of the worksheet, there are some questions down here. List the type of engineering programs at NC State. You can search for that and find those. And then also it says search Wake Tech PAC program and see what you can find about that, about how that works. You should definitely get all of this done. There is no excuse not to get this done. You're capable of doing it. It just takes a little bit of work. Another assignment that you have is a career assignment, except here you have a little more freedom to choose a career that you may like. At the bottom of the page, it gives you the website to go to. So right down here, you see this. And so if we go to that website, You'll see it's the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and it says Occupational Outlook Handbook. It has a lot of different groups here that you may want to choose from. I like to come over here to where it says Select Occupations. I like to select by pay. Uh, I'll go kind of middle range here, 55 to 74. And I like to do education also. I think I'd like to go to college for four years, so... Well, maybe not. Maybe I only want to go two years. That's an associate's degree. Maybe I'll go four years. Bachelor's degree. And I'll just hit go. I'll leave these other ones blank. Now, if I click on that, you see I've got some different jobs here that I can choose from. So you can look through this list. If the list is very small, then you may want to change these fields here. Uh, or if you don't see anything you like. What if I had chosen the two years? You think you can make that much money with just two years of college? Let's try and see. Associate's degree, and there are some jobs up there. Just kind of looking at this, you see projected number of new jobs, and some of these are really small. I looked at this a little while ago, and I saw nuclear medicine technologists. That sounds kind of cool. But only zero to 999 jobs in the United States expected to open up. So that's not a lot. So that may be hard to get into. Maybe not, I don't know. I have to do some more research about that. But as I was looking down, I saw a radiological technologist. Man, there's a lot of jobs for that. And look at what their pay is, 55000 to 74000 with an associate's degree. Remember, that's just two years of college. So if I click on radiological technologist, I come to another page and this is where you're going to get your information from to fill out the sheet. A lot of people try to go and just get their information from this little table right here but that's really not going to give you all the information you need. So let me show you where it's at. Let's take a look back at the worksheet. <clears throat> and the first thing we have, well first of all name of career here but then we have duties and there may be only a number one here but the four is that you need to put four duties down. <clears throat> Where do they work, work schedule, and so forth. So let's look back at the website. Let's see if we can find duties. 
So when I look here, I don't see duties right to begin with. These tabs up here will help you get to where you need to be as far as finding this information. So I'll start with the first tab, what do they do? And when I click on that, well how about that? Right there it says duties. And there goes some of the duties there. And so you can write down four of those. Remember you can't copy them. You gotta put them in your own words. Make them shorter. You don't have a lot of room to write so you can make them much shorter but choose four and write those four down. If we look back at here it says where do they work and work schedule. Where do they work and work schedule. I don't see anything else about that so let's go to work environment and it doesn't say all of these may not have a heading that says oh where do they work. You may have to actually do a little looking. And If I look here it says that they were employed as follows. Hospitals. Well that's where they work. An office of a doctor or a physician, a laboratory, or an outpatient care center. So that's where they work. So those are some things that you could write down for that. Work schedule. Let's see if we can find that. And there it goes, work schedule. Most technologists work full time. And in emergency, situ emergency situations, they may work evenings, weekends, or overnight. And you can keep on going down. So I think one of them was education and also certifications. You see up here it says it must be licensed or certified in most states. And so as you go down here, you'll find the answers to the questions there to, to fill in the table. Here again, important qualities, you need four of those and similar occupations you need three of these. Interesting fact, you're picking that out among what, you, what you've read. Oh and down here at the bottom, what do they do? That was actually on the first page, so or on the first tab, so you need to fill that in as well. You probably can do there's a front and back to this, so you can pick two different jobs to do. Let's look at one more assignment and that is vocabulary slides. And I believe we did this at the beginning of the year. We did a few words. There's two vocabulary slides. There's the vocabulary slides and then there's the vocabulary slides two. If you didn't finish the first one then you can work on that one and then start doing the second one. If you did finish the first one then you can start the second one. But just remember the words are right here on the first slide. I'm going to do an easy one right now such as invention there is an example here and then you can just start here so I would write the word invention and I can center that and format make it look a little bit better write a definition down remember an invention is anything or technology let's go back and say technology that is brand new has never existed before. Okay, We can use a word in a sentence, we can give some examples of some inventions, and we can do a picture. And remember the easiest way to do a picture is go to insert and you can do clip art would be fine with me. So if I do clip art Clip art would be a little safer than searching the internet. That's probably a good idea. I'll go to invention or you may already have an idea of an invention. Oh well there it goes. That's what I was going to do with the light bulb anyway. I think I like that one right there. And so we'll put that light bulb in and then you can give just a small description of your light bulb down here of why that's an invention or what it is and that's it that's all you have to do and then you go to the next slide and do the next word and keep on going if you don't know the definition of the word or what the word is in that same area that you open up the vocabulary slides there are uh, there are definitions there are documents there that have definitions so they are there and you can look them up and find out what the definition is. 
again, all this work you're very capable of doing. There's no excuse for you not getting these things done. If you don't do them, then you won't go into the shop. Simple as that. Do a good job and uh, do what you're supposed to be doing. No messing around. No surfing the internet. You need to do the work.